Hello, TIs. Well, um, you know, I've been, they've been trying to get, sensitize me to shit. You know, not too long ago, there was a, you know, my favorite shirt says, Obey Nobody. No one and nothing. Um, you know, not too long ago, there was a, a pizza box out there that said, Unfollow the Rules. Seems like, you know, shit that I talk about. But, um, and then twice there's been a Starbucks cup, you know, yeah, that has a little, you know, it has something to do with me, but, um, you know, I think it's funny. It doesn't sensitize me at all. Um, today I seen a FedEx tag on the door and it said M. Rodriguez, apartment number zero. Okay. Marie Rodriguez is my friend Poor Chop. She used to live underneath me. Um, years ago. And then my best friend, he used to live across the hall. He's the one that took care of me when I couldn't walk. And I ended up introducing them. You know, knowing well, you know, that they'd move off and be happy together sooner or later. And they did. But you know, when you love somebody, it doesn't matter who it is, whether it's your best friend, whether it's somebody that's blood related or your home team, you know, it doesn't matter. You sacrifice just like he did, you know, dedicating his time for me and being on call 24 seven when I couldn't walk and I couldn't move and going in my back and changing my sponge when he's a germaphobe. So that's love. But, um, yeah, so I texted her, I took a picture of it and, you know, since it's her be a Facebook messenger or whatever. And she called, you know, she called the place and stuff. And the tag wasn't even valid. The tag wasn't valid. You know, I told her, well, you need to make sure that, you know, nobody's gotten your mail, you know, that used to come here that might've came here and is frauding and ordering your, sh your shit. But I don't think that's what it was because I just went down there right now to see if it's in down there on the, door and it wasn't there you know I think that you know cuz I'm pretty protective of people that are good and stuff and people that I love you know I mean I've gotten what seemed to be important mail for people that used to live here because you know they used to be real friendly the neighbors you know the neighbors that lived in this apartment and stuff like that and um you know they give me a lot of love and I'm still in touch with a lot of them but, um, there was something else I wanted to talk about, too. Oh, yeah. I was supposed to go over my son's other parent's house Saturday. And, um, yeah. Um, I told you about how I texted her, how I was worried about her pool being uncovered and stuff and her dog. And then the next day, the dog drowned. And, you know, I had told my daughter-in-law you know, about how she used to fall asleep when she was driving and stuff. How she had a blowout with her, her motorcycle when we were younger. You know, how I worried about her because she still falls asleep. And then like a week and a half, two weeks later, what happens? She crashes her car and falls asleep. You know, um, I'm supposed to go over Tanya's, oops, <laughs> this weekend. And um, now she's in the hospital. Um, somebody else I love, you know, just had an accident and was in the hospital. Um, what else happened? There was one more. Th oh, and you know how I've been, uh, posting videos about Steve that's in that, that home. Well, he didn't, he didn't call me yesterday, you know, and I tried to face him, face message or, uh, text him and call him. And I tried this morning, no answer. And so I went down there with some something to eat he was arrested you know I don't know how far this mind control reaches and stuff but you know I'm pretty sure it affects people that you love you know and people that aren't really aware of what's happening and stuff because it's pretty weird you know come on you know it's pretty weird but the desens the sensitization shit, it's not working. 
but um you know just what's been happening you know with people I love and stuff you know it's it's too much to be a coincidence and you know I I know it reaches out to you know all over this world you know but to fuck with people that you love you know that's worse than fucking with with you you get me so I don't know if that's what they're trying to do or what you know I still don't know how I'm gonna pay rent on the first you know and it'll be the first time I've been paying rent since I've been 13 and um yeah so I don't know what I'm gonna do but you know what I'm giving it all up to God and hopefully I'll get blessed somehow because my faith is so much stronger now you know so it is what it is but if something happens I have places to go you know I don't want to because this is the place where my targeting and killing me slowly but painfully with the radiation and everything else started so what I really want to do is see this through die here and bite but um you know and I could have turned tail and run a long time ago and could have went someplace else but I turned down the opportunity because I want to see this through so if I have to leave hopefully a lot of perps are out of work and it is what it is you know and I'll probably get new perps new gang stalkers new street theater probably the same radiation pain but it is what it is and you know what I do have a smile on my face but um you know when something happens to people I love and stuff like that I can feel my body like on fire and inside me out I can feel but um maybe that's the only way they're able to really get to me like sending my daughter for that week to get reactions but um peace love and laughter pray for me bye TIs